Russia is gradually losing control over occupied Crimea, military expert. Ukrainian military expert Vladislav Zelezniov believes that Ukraine's defense forces are gradually diminishing the Russian military presence in Crimea. He expressed his opinion on Espresso TV. Russia is losing its military presence in Crimea, although it is happening slowly. This is primarily due to Ukraine's defense forces destroying Russian military infrastructure in Crimea. When Russia is forced to relocate missile launchers closer to Novorossiysk, it signifies a reduction in military presence. Similarly, the loss of air defense and missile defense capabilities in Crimea weakens the combat readiness of the Russian troops on the peninsula. Destruction of Russian ammunition depots and equipment in Crimea further undermines their military strength, the expert stated. Zelezniov emphasized the strategic importance of destroying the Crimean bridge. The defense forces have repeatedly stated that 2024 will be a year of special attention to occupied Crimea. The Russian forces must feel that Crimea is not their land, but Ukrainian. This land will burn under the feet of Russians until the last Russian soldier leaves Crimea. And they should hurry, because Maliuk and Budanov have repeatedly stated that the structure of the Crimean bridge is redundant and should be destroyed. So, while they have the opportunity, they can leave our Crimea. He added, military expert Serhi Zaguretz believes that the Ukrainian armed forces are conducting systematic work to destroy Russian air defense in the temporarily occupied Crimea. According to the expert, Russia is reinforcing Crimea with air defense systems. Recently, the Ukrainian defense forces using ATACMS missiles and UAVs have been systematically eliminating the entire Russian air defense in Crimea. We know that over the past two months, 15 units of Russian air defense systems have been destroyed in the temporarily occupied Crimea. This was reported by the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces. In particular, S-300, S-400, command posts and radars for these air defense systems. In fact, the Ukrainian armed forces' systematic measures are now aimed at completely clearing Crimea of Russian air defense. This is not an easy task. The enemy has a significant number of these military assets, he added. Ukraine found solution to problem caused by Russian glide bombs surprises await the Russians. The Ukrainian defense forces may soon have an effective new type of weapon against Russian long-range guided aerial bombs, Ukrainian volunteer Serhii Praetula announced. Analysts from the military portal Defense Express assessed how possible this is. There is one specific technical solution that was thought up here in Ukraine. This new type of weapon is currently being tested and if it is successful, it will be put into production, said Praetula. Glide bombs are cheap. Russia is firing hundreds a week at Ukrainian targets at and behind the front lines. These bombs are small and difficult to spot on radar. They do not use propulsion or emit a detectable heat signature. Russian aircraft launch glide bombs dozens of miles behind the front lines in relative sanctuary. Analysts emphasized that there are currently only a few methods of possible counteraction to Russian glide bombs. The first is their destruction, for which, of course, an SAM system can be used, but it is impossible to call it effective. Moreover, the appearance of a Ukrainian anti-aircraft missile system would obviously have been announced somewhat differently. If not a SAM system, then the next candidate for the destruction of guided aerial bombs could be automated anti-aircraft installations, such as ship-based Phalanx CIWS or its land-based version Centurion C-RAM, which, by the way, Ukraine has repeatedly requested. But, as in the case of a SAM system, this is a full-fledged development that takes years and costs hundreds of millions of dollars, as the experience of Korea directly demonstrates, the report says. There are also alternative methods of disposal, the portal added, combat lasers, or directed microwave radiation. But all this, even in Western countries with gigantic budgets, did not reach the prototype stage as the British Dragonfire is an excellent example. In addition, as analysts noted, UABs can also be countered by jamming their satellite navigation, but it is difficult to call this a final solution. Therefore, it is entirely possible that we are talking about other methods of counteraction, the principle of which is not on the surface, the analysts concluded.
Recall that earlier it was reported that Russian troops began using a new munition for strikes on Ukraine, which could change the situation on the ground. We are talking about the Fab 3000 M54. Business Insider said the munition could be highly destructive to Ukrainian military and civilian targets.